So do you think that they're just going to stick with flex from now on, or are they going to offer maybe three different options? Or can you take the paper anymore now that they have digital? Like what sort of is the future for the LSAT? I'd be lying if I said I knew. I'd be, I'd be, play, I'd be playing the stock market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I would say that, again, if, if they could do it indefinitely in online, I think they would just because of all the logistical things that that resolves, like booking test, testing centers, hiring mm -hmm. proctors, having enough test centers available. Sometimes te test centers are booked up and folks have to travel long distances or just pull their hair out trying to book a time. And this removes all of that. It's, it's the ultimate flexibility, no pun intended. Like that really actually works out a lot of issues, but the experimental section still remains open to question how they would handle that. LSAC says they would like to do it in person in the future, going forward if they could. They've even talked about administering it in smaller groups with social distancing in order. They keep talking about that, but I've noticed them soften their language over time about doing it in person going forward. So we'll see what happens. Of course, May and June are LSAT flex. July is an open question, but I'd say it's pretty likely to be flex. They'll have to figure out some things, but I do think that long-term flex will remain. That's just my personal guess though. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.